D I capital B E R N A R T O. What's the difference? Four twenty-five uh, fifty-nine. And a whole seven zero one three. And what's your address? On the it, one one three eight five. Amazon. Hey Scott, you cook for me? Yep. So, gentlemen, if you could, please tell me your name and spell your last name. Uh, Bill Guy, G-E-I-B-E. -E. Vince DiBernardo, D-I-B-E-R-N-A-R-D-O. Tell me what happened this morning, guys. Well, we were just getting together at the morning do in the morning, and uh, all of a sudden looked up the road, and a truck started to veer over straight, and then it landed up, stopped here, right here on the neighbor's yard. Almost over the side into your yard, sir. Um, yeah. I was sitting in my garage as Vince is coming across, and I go, what was that sound? He goes, there's a truck. <laughs> so I called 911 and we ran up to the car. It was still in gear and in running and it was all locked up. So first thing Bill did was he got smart, got run down here and picked up a, uh, a long, what was it? It was like a spring thing and I unlocked yeah. the door. And then we were able to unlock the doors, go in to reach inside and shut off the car. Tell me about the driver. The driver was slumped over on the steering wheel when I went around to the other side, opened the door. He was gasping for air. There wasn't much breathing. And I was then on the phone with 911. I understand they were doing CPR when the firefighters got here. Or did you folks start we, CPR? Well, we pulled we, them out of the car. We pulled them out of the car, and 911 uh, told us to go ahead and do um, breathing, CPR, and pumps four times every couple seconds. And to so try he to did stop breathing at some point. He did stop breathing at one he point. He was just gasping. Every and she saw. said that means he's restricted and needs to have some airflow and blood flow. So she said, keep pumping him. And until yeah, the paramedics his son arrived. Came down and he started the CPR. Oh, so he's, this gentleman's a neighbor? Yes, yeah, he, he lives five houses up. Yeah. Okay, and how old is he? He's in his mid 70s. So apparently he suffered some kind of medical. Uh, it looked problem. like he had a heart attack or something, yeah. yes. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. Scary? It's very scary. Well, actually, you yeah. did know what to do. <laughs> yeah. Did, so. Have you gentlemen ever done this before? No. Well, I had to do it uh, two years ago at work. One of my co workers, Bob, he. We came into the office and he was slumped over in purple in his chair. And the same thing happened. He had a heart attack and called 911 and had to lay him on the ground and do the same hold thing. Hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. <laughs> you okay, Katie? <laughs> you okay, Katie? Yeah. Wow. I don't have a muscle. Bar that we had to keep, I think, a 